In mid-autumn, an indecisive battle is fought in the Gulf of Badain, with the Maustrian navy under the command of Admiral von Rattus destroying a Crimsonian frigate before both sides withdrew. This escalation in the scope of the war has led the Isles of Manaf to declare war, siding with Crimsonia and Adon. In the north, a sideshow war breaks out with the Emir of West Thuiba launching a series of raids against Thuiba proper. The Thuibans are thoroughly outmatched and defeated, and the capital, Klobasan, is likely to fall. It is unclear what impacts this will have on the primary conflict. In the centre, having driven Prince Stepka from Prat Platkov, General von Mauskopf leads her force into Tsigl to break the coalition siege of a Maustrian fortress. The coalition force under Admiral Oskipek is surprised and driven from the field, retreating south to Montgrun to join the Democratic Republic Assistance Force under Citizen General Acorn, retiring from the meeting at Lake Paton. As late autumn begins, Dunbara, a naval power in the north, declares for Maustria. Klobasan falls to the west Thuibans, and Baron Fapelt hatches his plans. His army of the east will march north to Montgrun, while von Mauskopf's army of the centre will march south. Catching the enemy between two fires, the scene will be set for the largest battle in the Maustrian War of Succession to date. As they march, the Maustrians sing a battle anthem, penned by their own General von Mauskopf. Let my heart and blood be consecrated to saving you, O Maustria. It is time that you be freed. We will burst your chains. No longer shall the wicked deed, the pretender's wantonness and treason, be embedded in your womb. So scorn ye all danger. Freedom calls on us all. Justice wants it thus, and it stays true, however the lots may drop. If we fall to a superior force, we keep marching gloriously yonder into the night of death.